Hello and welcome. You have landed once again on the channel of the Ebb Fats, uh, a Championship Manager 0102 channel. Um, we are talking about the great game that is CMO 102, um, and today we're going to talk about Chairman. Um, before we go into that, though, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video, share with people you might uh, you think might find it interesting, and do comment to let me know other things you would like me to record. Um, so yes, what we're going to do today is talk about Chairman. Um, normally you cannot see a Chairman when you click on his name uh, here on your squad page. Um, it's unclickable. Um, but through many years ago there was something called an ARSE command. Um, yep, that is ARSE, A-R-S-E. Um, that would allow you to see your Chairman. Uh, but that's also now incorporated into patches that are available for the game. Either Nix Patcher or the starter kit both available from the forum uh, www.chumpman0102.net um, so we'll go straight into it chairman and have a look at what they have on their screen so as a newcastle supporter myself we are looking at freddie shepherd who was newcastle's chairman in july 2001 when the game starts <coughs> seven attributes there to look at um, and we'll try and explain what all of them mean although most should be self-explanatory so the first of those is business acumen shepherds is 11 um, and it states he is a competent businessman and will increase club income slightly so that is all about in the background will your chairman be going out getting sponsorship deals for you um, will he look to increase stadium capacity to make more money that kind of stuff um, will he yeah just managing the business well, does he do it well and does he do it badly the higher the number the better he is discipline is the second shepherds is 15 and states he is a strict disciplinarian slightly intolerant of prima donnas so that's your maverick players that come in you're an elkers maybe um your if you look at real life newcastle your Genelars, your roberts your typical french winners really ben arthur's your alan saint maximans we do love a maverick french winger at newcastle united um, so discipline how hard he is on players who are out of line so if someone does something to bring the club into disrepute will he come down on them interference 11 quite reserved will only sometimes interfere in transfer decisions so you go out and travel to chile and buy some random 15 year old he will say how much you want to pay you will say seven million he will say not a chance you're spending seven million on this guy I've never heard of. Um, you haven't scouted him. All his attributes are not visible. Deal off. Some chairman will just say, yeah, wave him through. We'll have him. Others will say, not a chance. I need to know more about him. He needs to be more well known. Stuff like that. So that is your interference. 20, you'll get involved in every deal. One, he'll just let you do whatever you fancy. Man handling is a good one, um, so that's more of a management stat really, and it's how you keep your players happy. Um, so not really something that comes up really on a chairman, but um, if he is uh, talking in the press about how bad Alan Shearer is as a player, it's not going to go down very well. Um, he would then need to handle that situation. Would he go up to him and say, yes, I did say it? or no I didn't say it it's crazy talk patience is probably the most important one on the screen um, so how patient your chairman is in sacking a manager that is not doing well Shepard's stat is 11 so you have a bit of time to uh, sort things out at Newcastle if things were going badly um, if that number were to be 20 you would be in a world of trouble. You lose a couple of games, you're probably on your way out the door. 
if you come in the bottom half, if you come, I don't know, Claudio Ranieri is a good one at Chelsea. If he comes sixth or less generally in the first season, then he's out on his ear and he is fired. Whereas someone like Crew, Crew Alexandra, will have Dario Gradi in place. He's been there for about 20 years. No chance of him going unless he chooses to go himself. He won't get fired. Uh, resources is up next so that's how much money can be put into the club will the chairman put his hand in his pocket for your 25 million pound player or will he say no 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 you'll need to sell before you buy so for shepherd resources 11 he is rich he is able to invest so if that transfer budget goes down then you go to the board and say come on man give me a bit more money for a couple of transfers Will he give it to you or not? And the final one is ambition. And that is obviously quite a self-explanatory one. Does he want the club that he is running to be ambitious, as you see here for Shepherd, The club to succeed at the highest level. You sometimes get uh, want them to, be, to do well in the league. The best club in the world. There's a whole range from 1 to 20, um, which sometimes falls hand in hand with patience um, and allows managers to sometimes stay longer than they should or sometimes stay for a shorter period and not be allowed the chance to remould a club into their own vision. Um, so that covers your chairman stats. Um, so if you're using those patches, you're about to take over at a club um, it might be worth having a look at that chairman page just to see how intolerant of you your potential new chairman might be. Okay, so that covers it for today, boys. Um, please do like the video. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please do share this video with other CMO 102 players. And do please comment and give me some ideas on what you would like to see in future videos. But for now, guys, thank you very much. And let's continue keeping the game alive.